welcome to your first day of tuba playing with TrumpetTransfer.com. I hope you've got a tuba with you today because we're going to get you started. Uh, as you probably know, tuba is definitely the largest instrument in the wind family. Uh, it takes the most air to play and it is so much fun. So first let's talk a little bit about how to hold the instrument. Let me put my mouthpiece on here. It's large, and so even if you're playing a smaller tuba like this one, this is only about a three-quarter size tuba, you might be playing on a half size tuba or maybe a full size tuba. Um, regardless of what size it is, you want to make sure that you have a good hand on it, and even just balancing all this metal can be tricky. So just make sure you're always very, very safe with your tuba and you never leave it where it's going to be in danger. So Mouthpiece is going to be exactly the same as you're used to for trumpet, obviously much larger, but it's going to go just in that one spot right there, just as easy to put together as a trumpet. And it has three valves. Yours might have four, but a lot of student models have three valves. So they're going to live right here. There's a little thumb hole that my thumb goes in, and then first, second, third valve is going to feel very much like trumpet. Uh, your tuba should sit on your lap, and as with any instrument, the job of your hands is to get the instrument to you so that you don't have to go to the instrument or do anything crazy. Um, if you are a little bit, um, if your tube is too short, if it's not quite coming up to your mouthpiece, then you can put a towel underneath the tuba and that'll keep it up a little bit higher. You can also put the towel right here in between your legs and that can help keep the tuba up depending on your placement. Best case scenario is you can purchase tuba stands online. There's a couple of them that are made. They're not cheap, they're about $75, $80. But if you can get one, that is gonna be your best case scenario. You can adjust it up and down. It's never gonna put any strain on your leg. It's gonna cause the most relaxed playing that you can do. Um, I don't happen to own a tuba stand, but if you can get one, that's your best case scenario. So. If you don't, your job is to bring the tuba as close to you as possible so that you don't have to do any moving of your air column. You want to keep your windpipe nice and straight. So, talking about making our first sound on the tuba. The most important thing to play this beautiful instrument is air. If you are someone who hasn't been doing a lot of work to expand your lung capacity, now is the time. So the very first thing I want you to do, I'm gonna go ahead and set my tuba safely down next to me. What I want you to do is sit with your feet slightly below your hips, excuse me, sit with your knees slightly below where your hips are. So that means if you need to cross your legs a little bit out or under, that's okay. Um, just anywhere so that wherever chair you're sitting in, your knees have to drop below your hips, however that is. Don't worry about keeping them flat on the floor. And I want you to have a nice neutral spine. The way I want you to find that is arch your back forward like this. Now arch it back where it's uncomfortable. Now find somewhere kind of in the middle that's going to be a nice neutral spot for you to be. I don't want you to arch it and think like, sit up straight. That's not what we want. So just keep it nice and neutral. And I want you to take uh, a really good breath. <sighs> Now I want you to do that again, and I want you to breathe with, a, with as much air as possible. And I want you to start by saying the word Minnesota. Can you say that? Minnesota. Oh, it, ha it can't be like, oh, it can't be too uh, narrow of a sound. And we don't want it to be like oh, this big. We don't want to activate anything back here. We just want, oh, we want nice and round. Minnesota. Okay, so with that O shape in your mouth, Go ahead and take a good deep breath in and then out and expel as much air in as you can. Breathe in, out. Two more, in, out. Get more air this time, breathe in, out. That is gonna be the foundation for beautiful tuba sound, has to be the air. So. The next thing I want you to do is grab a small pen, just like a ballpoint pen. I have one right here. I want you to make that same O shape with your lips. Then I want you to say, ooh, this is gonna help form your embouchure. And then I want you to put the little pen in between your lips and kind of squeeze on it. So it's gonna be O, ooh, and then squeeze. So try O, ooh, 
and then squeeze that tube. Try it one more time. Oh, ooh. So what you're gonna do now is pick up your beautiful tuba and we're gonna have you try, man, that's a lot of metal to balance, isn't it? We're gonna have you try that. Make sure that your mouthpiece is coming right up to you. We're gonna have you try, oh, ooh, and then as you do that, squeeze the tube, squeeze the little pen motion, expel as much air as you possibly can into the tuba and see what note comes out. This should not be tight. Oh, ooh, it's really mostly air. That's most of your embouchure. So give it a shot. Oh, ooh, breathe in. See, I didn't take in enough air and immediately I didn't get enough sound. So I'm gonna form that, take a really, really good deep breath in, and then out. Now, if you can't get a big sound out yet, that's fine. That right now was a very, very short note. Your note might not even be that long. It is all about air. It takes so much air to play the tuba. So if you got that low partial, that's home base for tuba. It's hard to find and it's hard to maintain. So. What you might get is the partial above that, which is an F. So let me see if I can get that one on a first try. That one's a lot easier for me. It probably is for you too. So go ahead and try that one. See if you can get the high F. Just firm up the tiniest little bit and see if you can get a little bit more muscle behind the embouchure and still lots and lots of air. Try again for the high F. Still open, no valves down. So I want you to think about that as the fifth note in concert B flat, right? So we're gonna work our way down, fifth, fourth, third, second, and then first. And we're gonna see if we can get all the way down. It's gonna be the same fingerings as trumpet. So five, four, three, two, one. And see if you can get all those notes to come out. So start on high F, here we go, ready? How'd you do? Try one more time. Five, four, three, two, one. Ready? So I don't know about you, but when I first started playing tuba and when most of my students first start playing tuba, that low B flat is like the money shot, right? Like we love that low note. It's so hard to play because it takes so much air, but you just Feel it in your bones, right? Like that's the best part of playing tuba is low B flat. So I know it's hard for you to get now. Keep developing that air support and you're gonna get more and more out. So now instead of working five, four, three, two, one, I want you to try and play one, two, three, four, five, and then go up to the sixth note. So I'll show that to you. It's the same fingerings as trumpet again. So we'll start on low B flat, get as much air as you can, and then we'll work up one, two, three, four, five, six, and we'll try that. Here we go. Ready? Very nice. So now that you know those first six notes, sometimes my nose itches a lot when I play tuba. That's okay, it's just because of the way your lips are vibrating. So we're gonna have you try to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, looking at all those really, really low bass notes uh, way down in the letter lines. So if you haven't yet, go to our Brass Basics section and look under Bass Clef, and we have the ledger lines marked down there for you. Um, if you don't wanna do that, that's okay. We're gonna write in the fingerings for you for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on this sheet music. We want you to just play straight through it as best as you can, and uh, have fun with it. Enjoy your first bit of tuba. Again, I can't say it enough. The best thing you can do to support your tuba playing is air, air, air. The job of the tuba is to be the foundation of the band. It takes a lot of air even to make a little bit of sound on it, and it takes tons of air to make a lot of sound on it, and that is what every band director wants. That's what every tuba player wants, is to have tons and tons of sound from tons and tons of air. So go ahead and get started on that.
Okay. Congratulations. You just played your first song on tuba. Wow. This is a very exciting world that you have entered. I know that there's a lot that you still have left to learn, but this is a good starting place for you. Go ahead and start looking up some other literature for things you can play. Ask your band director. I'm sure they have lots of stuff for you. I'm sure they are thrilled to have a brand new tuba player in their band. And we want to get you working on air. That is the best thing you can do for your tuba sound and for your band to help support them and your whole school is by getting your air supply working and using as much as you possibly can every time you play. Congratulations and happy practicing!